Hey everyone, it's Sydney. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where I talk about my experience going to prison as well as some tips for how I managed to stay so positive and really make the best of my situation. So today I'm going to talk about what we had to wear in prison because I've received a few questions about it and I forgot to write them down and mention it in my Q&A video that I filmed. So I figure why not just make a whole video on it. Honestly, what we got to wear on a regular basis in prison is like my ideal situation of sweatpants and <laughs> just like a t-shirt or a sweatshirt. It was really nice because it was comfortable and also it was kind of a relief like not ever having to really decide what I was going to wear. Like <laughs> Everything was the same. So when we got to prison, we got issued like a certain number of grays and then khakis so you get two pairs of sweatpants one sweatshirt six gray t-shirts and two pairs of shorts that are like basketball shorts but like cotton material um but they're like basketball short length kind of and everything is like a light gray and the sweatshirt was just like a crew neck sweatshirt like the one i'm wearing right now no hoods allowed like nothing has a hood and then we also got I think it was three pairs of khaki pants and two short sleeve button down khaki shirts and one long sleeve one and then one like big khaki coat. Where I was, if you like worked a job that you were required to wear khakis, you were allowed two extra pairs of khaki pants. Um, just like especially if you worked in the kitchen, that way the same khakis that you're wearing to like school or classes are not going to like smell like kitchen grease or be all dirty and disgusting. So at the first prison I was at, you could literally wear your sweats like all day long pretty much if you weren't doing any programs. Like the only time you really had to wear khakis is if you took classes like went to school or went to church. However, at the other place that I was at for the majority of my time, they also made us wear our khakis any time that we went to any meal or went into the education building, which was where the library was, the chapel, and like where all the classes were held. This was kind of a pain in the ass because not only were the khakis ugly and uncomfortable, but it was just like super annoying having to change before every meal, especially because we were not allowed to change in our rooms for some reason. So we had to like go to the bathroom to change and then drop our clothes back off in our room before like going to the mainline meals. I maybe did that like once or twice. I literally always changed in my room. We just had like a changing corner <laughs> where like if someone was walking by, they couldn't see. And we just had to be smart about like checking outside the door first to make sure no cops were walking down. I did get caught once and I got in trouble. It was worth it. Like it was such a pain in the ass to have to walk all the way to the bathroom every single time you wanted to change. Because if you think about it, like we were changing a lot if you go to all three meals and if you take classes and then you change to go to the gym or whatever. Sometimes I would skip meals just so that I didn't have to wear my khakis. The khakis that we first got issued were literally like, we called them baby gap pants because they're like these, they have like a elastic waist and then they just like go straight down. They're like really ugly, not flattering not cute at all and like the button down shirts were like really hard and like looked like cardboard like we always joked that you look like you're a like paper grocery bag when you're wearing your full khaki outfit luckily um for meals we were allowed to wear our sweatshirt and just wear khaki pants but they also had like better khaki pants that actually had like a zipper and like a normal waistband and like pockets on the back and front so they were like more like normal pants they were kind of hard to come by like you definitely had to know someone luckily when I like pretty much first got to the second place I was at a girl who was like the same size as me asked if I wanted some of hers because she had too many pairs of pants and her room was gonna get searched and she didn't want to get in trouble for like having more than she was allowed there was a lot of like trading going on with clothes which like isn't allowed and like you're not supposed to have more than like the state issued amount but pretty much if you were okay with like breaking the rules a little bit everyone usually had an extra shirt or like an extra pair of shorts or whatever all you really had to do is like know people and people would be giving things away 
or there was people that worked in laundry and they could hook you up so it definitely helped to be friends with the people that worked in laundry because they would get all the clothes from people that were like leaving to go to work release or to go home and then they could just kind of like give them out to people i even got a pair of like khaki pants that were more like jeans and i would say there was probably only like 10 pairs of them total in the institution and like you were like it was a cool thing to have those just because anything that was like somewhat different and like unique was really exciting for us because we're all wearing the same thing it's like all so uniform and it's really you can't have any like self-expression or, or like you know show your personality or individuality the way you can um with fashion in the real world so pretty much all of the grays were light gray but there was some like dark gray shirts and sweatshirts that I think were either really old or like new ones coming in and that was like the thing to have like dark gray was like because again you just want to have something that's a little bit different than the same monochromatic everything's the same so when I first got my first <laughs> dark gray t-shirt I was like so excited about it even though it was literally so old and like ripped so bad um, but over the months of being there, I got more and they were a little bit better. As far as shoes go, um, the state issued shoes are like these white chunky grandpa tennis shoes. They're New Balance and they, there's really no other way to describe them besides hideous. <laughs> but what was cool was that, um, they actually had these like property packages but they're like a magazine and you can like order stuff from the package you can have like a family member or like a loved one or whatever order it for you um or you can if you have money on your books you can order it that way but it's usually better to just have someone order it for you and the catalogs had like different types of shoes and it rotated so you could get like different tennis shoes or just like shoes that are more for leisure so they had like nikes and reeboks they had other New Balances, and then they had some like cheaper brands that I had never heard of before. You also get issued a pair of shower shoes, and the state issue ones are really, really uncomfortable. They're basically like plastic, like hard plastic. They're orange, and they like have like holes in them so that you can wear them in the shower, because obviously it's disgusting to shower barefoot. But you could also, on those packages, order, like, more comfortable sandals. I think they were, like, 10 bucks. Something that was, like, really gross <laughs> it was that everything that we got state issued was, like, used. Um, and then they said after six months you can get all new clothes if you put in, like, a request for it. So when we were, like, going through the clothes when we were first getting issued them, you have to like try everything on make sure it fits and like some of them were like super pit stained or like the shoes that I got were so gross so beat up super dirty which was fine like I didn't really care I wasn't trying to make a fashion statement like it wasn't that big of a deal but they started to really rip and tear and then my roommate started working in laundry and she hooked me up with a new pair of shoes towards the end and one of my pen pals actually bought me a pair of like Reebok workout shoes to wear to the gym and I would wear those to visits because they were like nicer and not as disgusting and a pair of those like nicer shower shoes. What was cool about the sandals is that you can wear them like outside and stuff too. You just have to be wearing regular shoes if you're in the gym or like going to meals and like certain buildings but like you could wear your sandals if you're just chilling in the day room or like walking outside or whatever. They definitely weren't like cute in any sense of the word like they're not like nike slides or like gucci slides you know but they were like that same similar like their slides but they were like a little bit uglier so i actually just remembered that i still have mine because <laughs> we were allowed to take them home with us because we bought them so yeah these are clearly i'm still rocking the sweatsuit like i'm still in prison it's just the way it goes yeah they're like this Oh, and uh, I forgot to mention, like, undergarments. We also got, like, six pairs of socks. They were, like, kind of like an off-white, and they went up to about, like, here. Some people would do this trick where, like, you pull the socks down um, so that they go at the ankle, and then the extra part that's up here, you tuck it into, like, the top of the sock, 
which looks kind of funny but like it makes sense if you're like wearing shoes and you don't want to have your socks all high especially like in the summer when you're walking outside and you don't want like sock tan lines i never really did that because i thought it was uncomfortable and kind of weird so i would just like bunch my socks down to the bottom like scrunch them at the end of my ankles and then we got six pairs of underwear the underwear was new so that was really nice it was like hanes like granny panties white plain probably if you're a girl you wore them when you were like six um <laughs> like total like period underwear but the bras were i think they were also hanes and they it was like a sports bra but like cotton material so like underwear material and it was kind of weird because the sizing only goes by like right here so like 34 36 but like not by cup size so like if you're a 34 double d you're wearing the same as someone that wears a 34a so like it's really not gonna fit um you can also get bras like special ordered um and pay for them which i didn't find out about until i was like about to leave pretty much i wondered why my whoa my roommate um had really big boobs and like her the sports bras like did not work for her so she had like one like a real bra and i guess i didn't realize it until like later on but i was like i totally would have actually bought a real bra because I don't know you wear like a tight push like bra that's pushing on your boobs long enough and i feel i just i don't know it felt like not comfortable at all so yeah sweatpants we could wear pretty much just to the gym uh whenever you're just hanging out and then khakis we had to wear to meals to visits and like any sort of like program or class or anything like that that we were doing the only other thing that we got issued or, and were allowed to wear was, like, we got a beanie, um, which it was funny because they were made out of the same material as, like, the fleece blankets that we got. They were literally the same, like, I'm pretty sure they turned the blankets into beanies <laughs> because they were the same colors and everything. Um, I had a blue one and they also had brown ones. And then some people had, like, ones that just looked like Carhartt beanies, like the tan um i was not so lucky i really tried to get my hands on one of those but it never happened but whatever i think that's pretty much it as far as what we wore in prison goes if you are interested in hearing more about prison and like what it was like for me in there and so on make sure you subscribe turn on my post notifications so you get notified every time i post a new video and make sure you give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys next time